Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you how to play the song Your Love Never Fails by Jesus Culture. So right now I'll go ahead and play the song all the way through, and then afterwards I'm going to explain the song to you in more detail, so be sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and get started with the song. <laughs> Nothing can separate Even if I ran away Your love never fails No, I still make mistakes But you have me mercies for me every day your love never fails You stay the same through the ages Your love never changes There may be pain in the night But joy comes in strong and the water's deep I'm not alone here in these open seas Your love never fails The chasm is far too wide I never thought I'd reach the other side your love never fails You stay the same through the ages Your love never changes There may be pain in the night But joy comes in together for my good You made all things work together for my good You made all things work together for my good You made all things Your love never fails 
Okay, so this song is using five chords from the E chord family. We have the E chord, uh, we have an A2 chord, B suspended, C sharp minor seven, and an F sharp minor seven. Now you'll notice that um, a lot of these chords are variations to the traditional way to play them. Um, so I'm playing A2 instead of A major, uh, playing B suspended four instead of the traditional way to play a B bar chord. Same thing with the C sharp minor. So these alternatives are called open chords and they're uh, easier to play than the bar chords and they fit nicely in the E chord family. So it makes uh, a win-win for everybody. Of course, if you don't wanna play the open chords, you can always play A major instead of A2. You can play the regular B uh, bar chord and the C sharp minor bar chord and the F sharp minor bar chord if you would like. For the strum pattern for this song, I'm using what's called the hyperdrive pattern which is an eight beat pattern, okay? So there's gonna be eight beats before the pattern repeats, okay? So if I just mute my strings, uh, we're gonna have down strums for eight beats, okay? That's all we're gonna be doing is down strums the whole time uh, until we reach the end. So after beat eight, we're gonna throw in an up strum and then we're gonna repeat, okay? So eight down strums and then an up strum after eight. Now what's very important for this, this, uh, this strum pattern to work is where you put the emphasis, okay? Where the, the, the beats that you emphasize are going to make or break this strum pattern. So you gotta be very important that you are emphasizing the right beats, okay? And for this strum pattern, we need to emphasize on beat one, four, and seven, okay? One, four, and seven, we're gonna strum harder, okay? And everything else will just strum softer. All right, so now I'm just gonna hold the E chord and I'm gonna play through that strum pattern so that you can hear what it would sound like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. All right, so if you're having trouble with this strum pattern, make sure to just break it down, slow it down like that, and just get your mind used to playing that strum pattern before you then try to add chords and trans transitions and stuff on top of it. All right, I hope this lesson was useful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.